Hello everyone, how are you today? I received a request from a viewer to create a video that shows the creation of a pipe system to be connected to a fun coil network in order to perform the calculation. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! In a suggested video above, I explained how you can create a 2D symbol 3D object in DDS CAD or use an external reference. Well, I will use a generic fun coil for this demonstration and we find uh, this article in the product database heating cooling device. So there is the category generic heat cooling uh, or heat cool. Uh, where we find this subcategory fun coil, I will use this article coil parametric. All right, so I'll click OK and, and the placement reference will be the suspended ceiling, so I don't have to care about the distance uh, from, the, from the floor. So just click OK. And I want to insert this, uh, ce uh, centralize it to this room, so I will move my object to one of the corners and I will use the shortcut uh, shift X and then I go to the other uh, side and okay I will do the same in the other room so shift X and I click on the other side okay now I will start the pipe system so I will use the function pipe and of course for the complete system I could use an outdoor air unit but for calculation I don't need it so I would just start from here and pretend that I, I, I would use a just one outdoor unit for these two fun coils so we start this pipe here and of course important for this start pipe is the mounting height so starting 3.5 meters height and uh, the medium group will, will be cooling and the medium is cooling supply of course we also use the cooling return but we can do it later on so click on cooling supply click ok and i will just move parallel close to this fun coil and and finish when i cross this fun coil unit uh, okay now i want to select this complete pipe system so by selecting one segment, I can use a shortcut Shift E, so I extend the selection. And then I can open the context menu because I would like to access this function called Draw Parallel Pipes. So I don't have to draw the return. I simply use these Draw Parallel Pipes uh, and then I select the, the, the parallel pipe I would like to use, so like the medium. So I have here Cooling Return and it will be in the inner contour of this pipe um, in this um, setup and also the, 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 the offset from the, the original pipe will be 15 centimeters okay now I can connect automatically this pipe system to, to the object to so the fun coil so I will select both objects and open the context menu once more and I will use this option automatic connection. Uh, since these fun coils are placed on the ceiling, I will use this option from side to ceiling direct. As you can see, the connection is a bit closer to, um, to, to the fun coil. If you like, you can select the, the T like this and move to give a, a bit more space we could make the same here I'm just selecting the T and moving my cursor to the to the right um, all right so next step now is to create calculation points uh, we can make it in two different ways I could just double click the start pipe like this and then you can create a calculation point or we can use this option here from the pipe network toolbox set a calculation point so as you can see it highlights the, the pipe segment where and I will give a name for the system as offices 
and um, I click OK. Now I have to, to make the same for, for, the order, for the return, so I click here. And since it's a closed system, I just have to click on the drop down list here for system name and click on the, the, the previous created system, these offices. And I could directly go for the calculation. So here we see the, the, the circuit supply and the circuit uh, return and we have the other tabs in order to perform this calculation.